we have the thermodynamic definition of entropy equals dq over t. And if we use the first law, du equals dq plus dw, and we substitute that in, du, so dq is equal to dw minus, du minus dw, du minus dw. See what I did? I just substituted in what dq is. Solve for dq. This is the first law and plug it in here. And under constant pressure, constant pressure is equal to the partial derivative of enthalpy with respect to temperature holding pressure constant. And we can rearrange this to dh equals cpm dt. Just kind of rearranged Rearrange this like this here. And what is dH? Well, if you remember, the definition of enthalpy is U plus P, U plus PV. So dH has to be equal to du plus, whoops, plus PDV plus VDP. And all of that equals CPM dT. I just substituted, I took the differential of this. So dH is du plus then product rule. This is constant pressure. So this is zero. And uh, du equals CPM dT minus PDV. And if we assume a reversible process, so that's key. If this is a reversible process where there's pressure volume work only, dW is PDV, a negative PDV. So dW, see, I'm going to substitute this in for du. So CPM dt minus PDV minus, and dW is negative PDV. This is all in the numerator here over the temperature. And we have negative PDV and this is positive PDV, so these two cancel out, and we're left with CPM dT over T. So this this comes down here. So DS DS is equal to the capacity dT over T.